Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some methods to fix error code CE1132029 on PS5. Method 1. Check the PlayStation Network status page. Go to PlayStation Network service status on your browser. Check if there are any issues or alerts affecting the PSN services, such as gaming and social, PlayStation Store, PlayStation Now, PlayStation Video, or PlayStation Music. If there are any issues or alerts, wait for Sony to resolve them and try again later. If there are no issues or alerts, the problem may be on your end or your PS5 console. Method 2. Change DNS and MTU. To do that, just go to Settings. Select Network. Select Settings. Select Setup Internet Connection. After that, go to your connected option depending on how you connect, it can be the Wi-Fi or LAN cable. Next, press option button on the controller. Select advanced settings. Go to DNS settings then press X button on the controller to select it. Select manual. Here, I will use Cloudflare DNS. So, I will select primary DNS then type 1.1.1.1. Next, I will select secondary DNS and type 1.0.0.1. Additionally, you can also try with other DNS such as Google DNS, OpenDNS, etc. Once done, select OK, then check if the error code CE1132029 is gone. If not working, one more time, come back here. After that, select MTU settings. Select Manual. Select MTU then change the value to 1473. Select Done. Select OK. One more time. Check if the error code CE1132029 is gone. Method 3. Power cycle the router and PS5. We need to turn off the PS5. Next, turn off the router. Now unplug the router and the PS5 from the power outlet. Wait at least 3 minutes. After that, plug the PS5 back into the power outlet, then it's time to power on the PS5. Next, plug the router back into the power outlet, then it's time to power on the router. Wait for all panel lights on the router to become green on before testing your internet connection. Connect to the network with your PS5 and test the internet connection. It's always better to test this by connecting with an Ethernet cable if possible. Method 4. Disable IPv6 on the router. You need log into your router and poke around until you find the options related to IPv4 and IPv6, in my case with my Viatel provided router this was. Go to Advanced. Go to WAN Connection. Go to WAN. In IP version section I will choose IPv4. Click Create to save. For Spectrum provided router this was. Go to Advanced. Select Connectivity. Select IPv6 then toggle. Enable, to off then click Apply. Once done. Check if the error code CE1132029 is gone. Method 5. Factory reset the router. To do that, make sure keep your router plugged in. Next, find your router's reset button. This will be on the back or the bottom of your router.
Use a paperclip or similar object to hold down the reset button for 30 seconds. Release the button. Wait for the router to power back on and check if the error code CE1132029 is gone. Please contact your internet service provider if the problem persists. Just ask them how to open ports for PlayStation. Method 6. Try connecting to a different internet network or the router. If you have more than one router, try replacing the router you are using with another router. We do this to eliminate the possibility that the problem is caused by the router's strict security features. If that's not possible, try connecting to a different internet network, such as a neighbor's wireless network, mobile data, etc. Then check if the error code is gone. Finally, if none of the above methods work for you, then reset PS5, reinstall system software. This is a last resort, but it may be necessary if the error is caused by a corrupted system file. That's it guys, hope this is helpful. If you have any further questions, please feel free to get in touch or leave a comment. Thanks.